but all you're left with is anger and fear and hate. And I'm, I'm just too tired. You and yours have come to operate, I'll gladly accept. That's what it is, aid. Not conditional aid, it's aid. Here to help. The condition is that we win. We conquer the telephery, like, that's the, that's the condition. We have much to discuss, a rescue attack on Camp Broken Glass. We'd have to talk about it with Quintus. But all that can wait. Origin matters to demand our attention. Are there any refugees willing to come to our camp? Yeah. I think the 12th. I think the 12th. You and I should go first and secure the route back to the Camp Broken Glass. With all the creatures and tempered skulking about, I expect we'll have our hands full. It should come in handy. Conqueror's chain, courtesy of our laments and friends. I'd save it for the tempered, though. I'll mark a few points that need surveying on the map. We've taken care of the riffraff. We'll be back at the camp. Finding even the, the weakest opponents. So I assume we use that on uh, tempered. Do we just use it now, right? Wait. And again, the blue quest will wait to do. I was not going to get all of them anyway. Right after I'm done with the story stuff, um, when this thing says to be continued, pretty much I'll go back and through and do all the Aether currents. Of course, like what I find, I'll pick up like on the way. It's close enough. This one was kind of outstretched, but whatever. Bum, bum, My hope is to be done with the 83 to 84 brackets. Next couple of hours if I can. I can get food and do all that stuff because I'm really hungry. Then I'll probably be back later for some stuff. Is that what it spawns? You know? I get my own to kill. Because I just overcapped on gauge. Board a little plane, go to the next one. Hmm. I assume we have to get them low. Yeah, so do them first. What does that subdue? Like, how low are we talking about here? Velocities, whatever. My next one, though, get the 90 is my next skill. And it's the uh, big dumper. Oh, please. Get lost. Am I going to have to defeat you, too? Please don't do it to me. Oh, I hate you.
Please don't put monsters right next to quest objectives. See no threats on the path ahead. They got so much faster than me. The riding map. Oh, there you are. As expected, ran into a few beasts who went down without much of a fight. The temper proved somewhat troublesome, but those chains should keep them under control until our allies take them into custody. That taken care of, I hope to gather a few supplies, then run to the station. I'll see to that. Would you mind prizing Lucia of our progress? If that happens, I have some rather pertinent information from our recent scouting forays, but I'll save that for later. First things first, all that. Oh, Zoe. I was informed of Quintus' suicide. Must have come at a quite shock. A quite a shock to his men. What are the refugees? I'm told some of them were receptive to our proposal, but I would hear your account firsthand. So many did not hesitate to accept proves how desperate their situation has become. We'll do our best to make them feel welcome. Our troops who participated in the ambush are no exception. They will be afforded the same treatment as any other refugee. Preferably notwithstanding, after all. Even if I wanted to make an example of them, I would love to learn from it. We'll tell our allies that these soldiers were acting under the direct orders of the Legatus. That following the suicide, they offered a full and unconditional surrender. Perhaps Quintus thought he had... He had... Perhaps Quintus thought that he had lived. Whatever, he would have tried. He would have tried as a war criminal, and his men punished with him. Perhaps by taking his own life, he hoped to absolve them of any culpability. Or perhaps, like too many others, he's a true believer to the end. Who can say? I don't know. I don't know the man or his heart. His reasons, noble or otherwise, died with him. It falls just to clean up his mess. I had the hardest time reading that in existence. Holy crap. 520. Is this 525? It sure is. My gloves. 520. 525. I think so. Take it. Take these. That's what we do. Hidden from the cold. I assume you're curious about how matters have progressed here in your absence. Quite well as it happens. Now that we've procured ceruleum from the Taper's Den, the recently repaired heaters can provide much needed warmth. Furthermore, we've prepared sufficient food for everyone. Those from Caratium shall find a hot meal waiting upon their arrival. That's one for you, so good. There's one for you, too, so go on ahead and get some well-earned rest. I believe that we're capable of wielding a ladle or two without your assistance. 
On your way, might I ask that you seek out your Stola? She was, she was but recently attending to the wounded, but she meant to be taking a rest of herself. See that she is. Your Stola, what you doing? Yes, yes, I've been taking proper breaks and imbuing sufficient water, Im imbibing sufficient water. But for the warrior of light, you and the twins have established history of reckless disregard for your own well-being. We're all fortunate that none of you have landed yourselves in my care. I've already had quite enough to deal with between the temper and the first wounds. Glass, but I can mend their bodies. Toll of their expenses have taken on their hearts and their minds. Another matter of all and all together. For their sakes, we mustn't waver. But nor must we rush ahead in, in eagerness to see the day one. Doing so is fighting disaster. Fun selling never suffer. Civil cutscene will play in sequence. Yep. So we need to just have sufficient time. Yep. Yep. Hold down. Hold down. Pray for the the good old cutscenes. Hopefully voice acted. I still have the dad loafers though. That's pretty good. How dare you use magic? Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. Hey, Julius is there too. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Warmth, at last. Marvelous, isn't it? Oh. All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. <laughs> On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment. But it was our laments and smiths that put the bloody things together. Oh, well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way! <laughs> fight, fight, fight. We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate! I did a damn sight more than you, you lily livered bilge rat. Ooh. Take that back. Knife me. I will not stoop to your level. And then they fucked. Here.
At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it. And I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. Too flavorful, dude. <laughs> Who says that, man? <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. Yikes. Like less flavor, do you? Hmm, it's only a balmy 160 degrees. <laughs> The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? <laughs> I man just saw his entire childhood in that tomato soup. He was like, Bobby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, the fuck does everything I say come true? <laughs> Captain Cringe. I know this is not a dream, and yet it feels like it. I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination, that my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Yeah, I do that to people. It's whatever. It's all in the day's work. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rift between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The grand company of Eorzea the Ilsebad contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. Yeah, pain and sorrow, wait a minute. We don't often have the luxury of choice. That's the fucking truth. Indeed, we can but do our utmost to unite these disparate peoples and lead them to victory. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes. Where's the flower? I know what you mean. Where's the flower? On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. the flower there it is there it is ladies and gentlemen go home we solved it flower op girl mold conquered next oh 
was wondering if it was gonna roar. Everyone with talismans is safe. Everyone without, no longer safe. Temper him. Oh god, all the refugees are fucked. They are being tempered. The talismans. Quickly. You gonna transform? Uh, one of those monsters? Save me, brave hero. And fucking Daniel, dude. Uh oh. <laughs> My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. Oh, she just took us. He was like, and. <laughs> All right, dude, so we get to face off with Xenos already. The experiment oh, I've been waiting for this. But I fear our time is short. Okay. I shall begin the preparations. Why am I blacking out? Hello? What now, did you do to me? It is time for you to awaken. But what? A feast? Oh, you have to cook me dinner. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait a minute. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, I don't know what's in there. Be sure to remove your helm. Take a moment too to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. Whose body am I in? Oh. So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. My body, yeah, bro. The fuck? We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. Mm. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Interesting. This is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Come now. To us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine cuisine? I don't know if that cuisine going to kill me now, dude. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. Mm. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Nope. Eh, wrong. Behind the door. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. What? Daddy. Ah, exposition is in order. Like that. The Galian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. Mm -hmm. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. 
Okay. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The hell? The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit. Oh. Their anima. Oh, I see. It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. Yikes. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. Wow. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Would you not agree, my lord? He said shit this entire time. He's just, he's just eating. He's chilling. He's like, God, I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Hey buddy, you want a match? Let me in my body. That to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamuldo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft. As I set the stage for our reunion. Uh -huh. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. Sorry, gifts? What that shit? Get back. Where's the receipt? At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger, and it would seem my friend has lost his appetite. 